Well, they tried to make the movie a disaster, but they failed. It ended up being quite the success. <laughs> So we've went over the reviews and we've talked about them a few times and how they just focus on Chris Pratt and they don't like Chris Pratt. So they're going to come after this movie. Every movie that this man makes, they're going to come after it, except Guardians of the Galaxy. Though I guarantee you when that movie comes out, when the new one drops, they're going to say, oh, his performance was terrible. But the rest of the movie shines probably for the next Thor because from what I understand, he's in the upcoming Thor movie, too. I'm sure we'll see those reviews. Uh, the reviews for this movie have been funny. They've blasted this movie for appealing to hard-working, average Americans. They've also complained about the movie because it has too much cis white hat in the movie, which is, of course, Chris Pratt. Uh, they've said the movie isn't diverse enough, even though the two co-stars that are with him the whole entire time in the movie are, are two people of color. None of that matters. Uh, the problem is Chris Pratt's in the movie, and he's a conservative Christian. And because of that, he gets attacked. Because these types of people, well, they're not allowed in Hollywood anymore. So how did that work out for them? Did they manage to hurt the Tomorrow War? Well, according to Samba TV, no. <laughs> no. It was watched by 2.4 million Americans when it came out. <laughs> what a story, Mark. It's a lot of people. A lot of people. If you don't know who Samba or Samba, however you say it, TV is, uh, they're basically an analytics company. I believe they are putting their apps in some TVs, so it's not perfect. It's about the same, actually, to be honest, as the Nielsen ratings. And they see what you're streaming and watching. They've been able to put out a lot of really good reports about how many people actually watch these shows. It's nice that a company like this is popping up because there'd be no way for us to tell what is actually doing well in streaming. Companies could just come out and say, yeah, yeah did awesome, amazing, and we'd have nothing to prove them wrong. And, of course, a lot of the weirdos on Twitter, they will, of course, just take the company's word for it because why not? Their company shills. They spend practically all day defending corporations. So, you know, it, it wouldn't be that crazy to see that. So let's see what Deadline is saying here. Amazon did not report viewership figures for their 200 million Skydance acquisition titled The Tomorrow War, but third-party streaming analytics corporation Samba TV did. And the Chris Pratt movie drew 2.41 million U.S. households during the four-day holiday weekend. The previous three-day viewership for for Amazon movies, Tom Clancy's Without Remorse, another Skydance pickup by the streamer, and Borat's subsequent movie film was respectively 2.3 and 1.6 million over three days. Amazon has previously reported that their Eddie Murphy acquisition coming to America was their biggest weekend premiere, but nobody recorded those numbers. Samba TV is kind of new, so they don't. It doesn't go back that far. Now, one interesting thing here is that this movie apparently beat out. Uh, the Snyder Cut. On the plus side, Tomorrow's War weekend viewership beats the first four days of HBO Max's Justice League, The Snyder Cut, which attracted 1.8 million households. I like how they say on the plus side, like, ha, 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 yeah, we got that movie. You know, because they don't, they don't like that movie either. I mean, they're, they're just kind of showing it here. But uh, the movie is a tremendous success, it would seem, and it made money for Amazon, and I think that that's good. Uh, I like it doing well just because <laughs> I don't like that the people are always going after him just because of his political views and his beliefs. And I like to point out his political views he never mentions, ever. Uh, he doesn't talk about them. As far as I know, I've never seen him push those. And I've seen him get a little religious, maybe thanking God for his success. Other than that, like the man just kind of keeps to himself and and hangs out like he yes, he had his kid on the set of this movie and, and stuff like that. Like seems like he's a good dad and an all right person and he just doesn't go with the Hollywood narrative and that's why they constantly wanna I, I can't see another reason other than his political beliefs and his religious beliefs for why they want to get rid of him. Because like what else does he do? He doesn't do anything. 
I mean, my favorite story with, <laughs> with Chris Pratt is how he got canceled for not going to the Biden Avengers vote event where they got a bunch of MCU actors and actresses from the that were a part of Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy and a couple of other Marvel movies, and they were there to promote Joe Biden. And they were like, where's Chris Pratt? Why isn't he there? And there was a huge meltdown on Twitter about him not being there. And then it turns out he was never invited. <laughs> he wasn't even invited. That's why he wasn't there. Uh, but other than that, maybe he just didn't want to go. Didn't matter. They tried to cancel him for it. Uh, one time, uh, Pratt engine, I guess, the, an engine for an airplane. It's called Pratt, like a Pratt engine. Fell off of an airplane. That trended. Then that promptly got Pratt trending, which led to people trying to cancel him <laughs> because an airplane piece of a, a piece of an airplane's engine fell off. So this is the world we live in. But it's nice to see this movie did good to give those people the finger. I think that's great. Uh, check it out if you haven't. Like I said, it's not a perfect movie, but it's a fun movie. It's a fun movie. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double-check on that, and subscribe if you're new.